Hi guys! Um, I've had a lot of you ask me to um, show you kind of like my full makeup routine and not just little bits and pieces. So I'm going to try and do that for you guys today. Um, I did it the other day and uh, uh, I got a virus on my computer trying to change the format of the video. So um, I think the video is too big. So I'm going to do this in little snippets and then try and pray to dear Lord baby Jesus that I can edit it all together. So we'll see. Don't mind my fuzzy hair. Um, it's dirty. It's all heck. Um, okay. So I'll fast forward through a lot of garbage through here um, because it'd be a pretty long video. I'd say it takes me a good 30 minutes if I'm going out for the weekend to do a full face of makeup. And this is like not what I wear every day. This is just, you know, weekend going out makeup. So I start by moisturizing. One pump of Unique's Divine Moisturizer. This moisturizer is formulated inside the container, so air does not touch it until you pump it out on your hands. So it's like getting a fresh batch of moisturizer each time. Then I use Unique's Glorious Primer. Just takes a little bit. Goes all over my face and neck. Now what's great about this is what's left. I'm going to put in my hair. And it smooths kind of flyaways and makes it a little shinier. Helps that five day old hair that I haven't washed. Yeah, five days. Don't gag. Okay. So I start with our BB cream. This is Honey. Put some on the back of my hand. If you're going to put it on with your fingers, you don't need nearly that much. But um, I'm going to use a blending bud today. And so I like to have a little bit more to work with. I added a little bit of our bisque color, which is the next lightest shade. Just because it's not summer yet. And I'm not quite the shade of honey um, yet. I've got our unique blending bud. And I just get it damp and squeeze it out. Get a little on the end and start dabbing. I don't know if many of you know how I do this. I have a camera, like a regular family vacation camera, moving taped to my mirror. And I have positioned my moving tape directly down the center of the mirror today so I can't see squat. So if you see me bobbing and weaving, it's I'm trying to get around the mirror. Okay. Now this BB cream, it's um very moisturizing foundation. It's a, they call it like a tinted moisturizer, but it covers better than any tinted moisturizer I've ever used. So it's a little bit more heavy coverage in a tinted moisturizer. Um, but as you can see, you can see it kind of still glistening on my skin. You know when you use like a really good night cream and it just sits and soaks on your skin and it um, kind of leaves that glossy texture until the next morning when it's soaked in? That's kind of this BB cream. It's going to look a little dewy, look a little wet still until it's kind of soaked in. So I move on to cover my dark circles because while that BB cream can cover you know medium coverage it's not covering these babies. So my favorite under eye concealer is by Amazing Cosmetics and this is light golden and um, I love it. I, I think I've had this for like two and a half years on the same tube. Um, I don't know how I don't have like a staph infection or anything yet, but I haven't got one because it just takes the teeny tiniest amount. I'm using um, Unique's concealer brush to apply it. I like this brush because it gets really tight right underneath the eyes. There are only a few products that I don't use that are unique. This is one of them. 
Unique does not have a liquid liner. You can make liners by mixing our pigments in water or our pigments in primer, but I just love a felt tip primer or felt tip liquid eyeliner. So you'll see what I use a little bit later. I just take what's left over and a lot of women get red right around their nose here. I've got a little zit there and something going on there. Oh, I got where I had my sunglasses on earlier today, so I'll just cover those up, left little marks. Okay. Um, I take Unique's little baby blending bud, get that wet, bring it out. And then just really get in there in those corners better. Okay, next, um, you can stop there. Uh, if you want more full coverage, I take our Touch Powder Foundation. Comes in a really nice compact um, with a cover for your sponge. You know if you use a sponge on your face and you get the oils from your skin there, and then you just lay it on here, have you ever noticed you get little, little oily, greasy marks on your compacts? This keeps you from doing that, so I like it. I don't use the sponge, though. I mean, you can see I have used the sponge. I like applying it with Unique's Powder Puff Brush. So I just dab it in there. This is chiffon, which again is a hair dark for me now. In the summer, it is going to be perfect, but it's close enough. Can't see it from my house, right? Looks pretty good. Okay. I move on to Unique's Beachfront Bronzer. Like, I'm, there's a recurring theme here. This is Malibu. This is a shade too dark. Um, just in general, even if it, even if um, it was summer, it'd still be a hair too dark for me. So I have to do a lot of blending. But I'm gonna use it to contour. So I'm gonna use more of this side. If I was gonna use it for a sun-kissed look and go all over where the sun would hit, I would use more of a shimmery side. But so this is just an Elf like dollar bronzing brush. Unique's blush brush works really, really well for this too, um, but I only have one right now, so I like using it for strictly my blush. Okay, you officially look ridiculous. That's how you know you've done a good job of contouring. Um, I take, this is an e.l.f. contour brush. It's just a little stiff brush. This is what I'm going to use. It was a buck, I think, maybe two dollars, for the sides of my nose. I used to just pinch that other brush, but... I found this and I was like, for a buck to get an exact line exactly where I want it, I'll do this. Okay, look ridiculous. Now I'll start blending. I go back to our powder puff brush. Like I said, I gotta do some serious blending because this is a little bit dark. This is more for olive skin tone. So I've had girls ask me, will you do my makeup? Will you um, teach a class on how to do makeup? No and no. Reasons being, um, I am a hairdresser. Well, I was. I'm a stay-at-home mommy now. But I was a hairdresser. I've been a hairdresser for 10 years. And I would literally get anxiety and diarrhea anytime, like prom or wedding people were coming in. I hated doing updos. I hated doing makeup. I would like practically fake my own death to get out of it. Um, I felt like every girl that walked out of there looked just how I do my makeup. I'm pretty good at doing my makeup one way. One way. Somebody could never like bring me a picture and say, oh, do this smoky eye on me. I can't do it. Get out of my face. Um, so I'm not a makeup artist. Leave me alone. Um, so no, I won't do your makeup. Most likely, unless I'm really drunk when you ask me and I commit to it. Um, and yeah, I, I probably won't be teaching a class. I know some girls that teach classes though, so if you want are looking for a class and you're in like the St. Louis area, let me know. Okay, so then I use our Sweet Blush. Um, now Unique makes this in a pressed blush format, which I want to get, but 
I have all the colors already in the old mineral things, and so it just seems like a waste of money. They're the same colors. So, this is Unique Splusher Brush. And a little goes a long way with this. You'll see you can look like a clown for a hot second. But what's great about this is, I say go back to this puffer brush. I use this for everything. And I'll just blend it in a bit. Don't, never do that with your fingers to blend in your blush. You got oils on your fingers and you're just ruining your makeup, so. Um, then, okay, so I'm gonna highlight. Unique does not have a highlighter right now. I mean, you can use BB cream and cream, but I like a little bit more of a shimmer to, um, for a highlighter. Really, I could add some sexy eye pigment to that and make it work, but I have some Tarte stuff left over from a while ago. Um, like a little sample that I got and one of my, you know, turning in 500 points. So I just still use it. Put a little on my hand. That's a lot on my hand. That should, probably too much. What is this nonsense? What happened there? Jeez Louise, ladies. Nobody gonna tell me about that? Okay. Um, like I said, I have a hump in my nose, so I don't want to highlight that. I just want to keep my highlight down there. I don't want to put anything shiny on my hump. Just like if you have a zit, you don't want to put anything shiny on your zit. Don't look at how disgusting this blending butt is. I don't care. Okay, so that's where I highlight. Now I'm going to move, what am I gonna move into? Uh, my eyes, I think, yes. I have an e.l.f. dollar eye primer that I like to slap on here. Just the Unique's primer will be enough, but I have this left over and nobody likes makeup to go to waste, right? So. Oh, maybe my eyebrows. Maybe I should do my eyebrows. That would be good. Okay, can you tell I like Unique's pencils? They're amazing. And can you tell how cheap I am? Because here's what's left of my <laughs> eyebrow pencil. And I refuse to open my next one until it's all gone. I'm going to smoke this cigarette till it's burning my fingers. All right. Um, eyebrow brush. This is a really high quality lash and brow comb. Love it. Four bristles. Um, middle comb. That needs to be clean. Story of my life. Okay. So I have Prim eyeliner. Um, sorry, hold on, I got a very important message. Oh, I have another girl signing up. Yay, okay. So, um, I did a brow, oh, I can't talk while I'm doing this. I did a brow video, so I'll probably fast forward through a lot of this. Find my brow video. Um, so, here I go.
Are they even? No, but neither was the Mona Lisa. Look how fantastic she is. Okay, so I have another little e.l.f. small angle brush. Um, I'm going to go back with my under eye concealer and I'm just going to make this line for my eyebrow really tight. Clean up any messes. I hope I'm still in frame. Okay. Just regular old scotch tape. That one's too long. Do over. Better. Um Unique's eye pigment in Beautiful. If I can find my stupid brush. Okay, here it is. Um, this is Unique's Delu Deluxe brush, which I love. Get a little bit on the brush head, put in the lid. Tap it off. And I'm basically going to go all the way across my crease up towards my brow bone. This is just a real subtle brown. I get excess off of my hand to kind of blend it in. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my like top three favorite products. Splurge Cream Eyeshadow from Unique. This is in Elegant. It's gorgeous. And I have a cream shadow brush. Um, if you have this shadow and don't have a brush, I think you can just do it on, like put it on with your fingers. I wouldn't use like a natural bristled brush on it though. I don't think it'd work very good. I'd rather just apply it with your fingers. This tape is just in the ideal spot. You know what I forgot? Cheese and rice. I forgot to put on my white eyeliner. It's not too late. It's not too late, ladies. We'll make it work. Mm, look at how saggy that eyelid skin is. Ooh, gotta love being in your 30s. Okay. That's it. You slap it on there. That is so easy. Um, my white eyeliner. Okay. What would we have done?
Hallelujah. Okay. Um, now I am waiting on our tenacious um, cream eyeshadow, which I can't wait for, which has got a lot of gold, like darker gold, bronzy color. But that doesn't come until Saturday. So right now I'm going to use our Confidence, which is essentially kind of the same dang color, but not in cream form. It's in powder, or it looks to be the same color. And I am looking for my, there it is. This is a crease brush from Unique. Goat hair, I believe. Taken cruelty free. I got a lot of purple in there from last time I did my eyeshadow and didn't clean it off, so I'm just trying to get some purple out of there. Okay, so just kind of what's in the lid. And just dab it into your crease. Got a little higher on that side, so let's make them kind of even. I have very hooded lids anyway, so like when my eyes are open, you can't even really see my lid very good. So I have to pull my eyeshadow up a little bit anyway, up into the hood. So get it on there, ladies. Just get it on the outside somewhere. I'm throwing stuff. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back to my deluxe eye brush. And you don't want you don't want it to get it any further up than it is. So we're gonna blend it and like blend it down and out. And here's where the point where I'm usually like, what have I done that looks horrid? And then after I get my eyeliner on and my mascara on, it looks doable, right? Well, it doesn't help any makeup on your fingers. Come on, Andrea, get it together. Okay, close enough. I take our eye pigment in Sexy, which is our highlight color. Or you can wear it all over your eye, whatever. I won't judge. I will, I just, I won't tell you. I'll, I'll talk to other people about how dumb of a makeup choice you made. I mean, what do you care, right? I mean, look at me, I've got scotch tape on my face. So, you're just going over where you hit that white eyeliner. Blending it in there, gently taking off the tape. Hiding it deep down in the trash can so your husband doesn't say, what are you doing with tape in the bathroom? Um, okay, I like to take a little bit of that confident, that golden brown color and Put it on my angle brush. Just pull it down. Okay, now to the fun part. Liquid eyeliner. I use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And really, I mean, I'm not the queen of putting on a winged eye. Um, I'm okay at it. Uh, I don't think anybody makes fun of it behind my back. Um, but no, like, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, do I get it even every time? No. Do I get it even any time? Never. So I just do it. So just let me do it. I start on the outside. Um, like I said, I've got hooded eyes. I'm older, so I have saggier skin, so I don't like to pull taut. Um, to pull and do it because then by the time 
unless everything's shifted back where it's supposed to be, it doesn't look quite right. So I like to just have a relaxed eye. There's no way you guys can see what's going on. <laughs> right? Not horrible. Right? Right? Okay. Well, this part's not going to kill you to tighten it a little bit if you need to clean up that line. Okay, that end got a little thick. Close enough, right? Okay. Um, in case you can't tell, that's my motto. Close enough. If you happen to go a little crazy on one side, take unique shine wipes. Don't waste a full wipe on it, that's crazy. Just tear it. And then stick the rest back in the bag. I'm so cheap. Okay, so I just take a little piece off, stick the rest back in the bag. Wrap it around a, a finger that's got a decent nail on it and you can pull a little tight. and make that line a little bit sharper. Right? Look at that. Okay. Now that you just wiped off all that makeup that you put on under there, you go back and take your concealer brush and I just, what was left on it, I don't even have to really add anything. I'm just cleaning it up. Next, um, I'm going to use our Unique Perfect Black Eyeliner and put it in my waterline. If you want your eyes to appear bigger, use white eyeliner. Um, in between that little break there, I put on regular mascara. Um, one coat of regular uh, Tarte, I believe, mascara that I've had. Um, sometimes I do it without mascara as a base coat, sometimes I do it with just how much of a hurry am I in and what I want it to look like. So now I'm going to go ahead and do Unique's Gel Fiber Gel and do a couple coats. I will try to fast forward it through all this.
one coat tart, one coat tart plus unique. I don't have my black rubber tube in my mascara because I'm getting down to the bottom stuff so I'm able to get like clumps of fibers out of here so that's why you saw a huge clump just fall you normally wouldn't see that but I once again I'm being cheap I love a good high quality makeup line I believe you can totally tell the difference in their products but I also am going to use every flipping last drop of it. Did I seal this side? My fiber or my gel? I don't know if I did. Go ahead and do one more. Pretty good. Livable. Okay, I take e.l.f. Lip, lip exfoliator. Dampen your lips a bit. It's like sandpapery. I'm going to use Unique's Pouty Lip Liner. Now you can use these liners to fill in all of your lip and then not do a gloss, but I'm loving our Luxe lip gloss lately, so I'm going to use a gloss. White eyeliner in the middle. Top it with Unique's Lux Lip Gloss. Zhuzh your hair. Oh, what's that? I almost look 29? Well, thank you. Okay, and that is... Minus the skanky hair. I don't know what the hell's going on. That is what I would do to um, go out with the ladies. So, if you have any questions, comment. Um, you have something rude to say, go tell somebody who cares. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.